Great day, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. The Gospel Bunch The Convoys, who have tragically died. The procession's gospel music bunch was established in 1952 by the exceptional Albertina Walker, a visionary and skilled performer. Albertina Walker's craving to make an aggregate of gifted gospel specialists prompted the development of the troops with their novel mix of customary gospel. Profound harmonies, furthermore, dynamic exhibitions, the parades in raptured crowds. The country over the troops assumed an essential part in reviving gospel music during the 1950s and 1960s. Tunes like Ruler, Keep Me Step by Step moved throughout the city, and Mary, Don't You Saw became immortal works of art. The procession's individuals proceeded to make exceptional progress as solo specialists, leaving a permanent mark on the gospel music industry, which was your main tune from the trains. Before we get into the video, give us a like and remark beneath Albertina Walker. She was brought into the world on August 29, 1929, in Chicago. Illinois found her enthusiasm for gospel music early on, experiencing childhood in the congregation. Walker's unprecedented vocal ability was clear right off the bat. She leveled up her ability singing in ensembles and gospel bunches, establishing the groundwork for an exceptional profession. In 1952, Albertina Walker established the famous Trains Gospel Music Bunch, which would become perhaps one of the most compelling gatherings in the class. Walker's vision was to make an aggregate of gifted gospel craftsmen who might share their confidence through music. The troops immediately acquired fame, enamoring crowds with their harmonies, energetic exhibitions, and strong messages. Albertina Walker's mind-blowing vocal ability and soul-mixing exhibitions brought forth various gospel hits that have become ageless works of art, like Ruler, Keep Me Step by Step, Moving Throughout the City, and I Can Go to God. In supplication, displayed Walker's capacity to convey strong, sincere exhibitions that resounded profoundly with audience members. Her one-of-a-kind mix of energy conviction and vocal virtuosity put her aside, as a genuine gospel music symbol, notwithstanding her work with the troops. Albertina Walker took part in an effective performance profession that further set her status as a gospel music stalwart walker, delivered various independent collections, including the widely praised Kindly Show Restraint Toward Me and Euphoria Will Come, her performance profession permitted her to grandstand her monstrous vocal ability and flexibility, acquiring her various honors and awards all through the years. Albertina Walker the pioneer behind the parade's gospel music bunch, died on October 8, 2010. The reason for her passing was respiratory disappointment because of entanglements from emphysema. Inez Andrews was a genuine vocalist. Stalwart was brought into the world in 1929 in Birmingham, Alabama. Andrews joined the gathering in 1957, lending her unmistakable voice to their harmonies. Inez Andrews joined the prestigious train's gospel music bunch in the last part of the 1950s turning into a basic piece of their prosperity. Her rich contralto voice and sincere conveyance made her an extraordinary presence on stage, and Andrews added to various gospel works of art, including Mary, Don't You Sob, and Excessively Near Paradise in the wake of leaving the convoys in as Andrews set out on a fruitful performance vocation, further cementing her status as a gospel music symbol. Inez Andrews delivered a few acclaimed independent collections, including Ruler, Don't Move That Mountain, and Part One. Her performance profession permitted her to investigate her creative liberty and grandstand her uncommon vocal ability. Andrews got various awards all through her profession, including enlistment in the Gospel Music Corridor of Popularity in 1999. She was known for her ability to inject her exhibitions with both power and weakness, charming crowds all over the planet. She died on December 19, 2012. The reason for her demise was complexities connected with coronary illness. James Cleveland, James Cleveland, brought into the world on December 5, 1931, in Chicago, Illinois, found his energy for gospel music at an early age, experiencing childhood in the congregation. Cleveland improved his melodic abilities as a pianist and performer. His strong baritone voice and natural musicality set the stage for his remarkable profession. Cleveland's commitments as an artist, lyricist, writer, and officer reformed the gospel music scene. His profound comprehension of the gospel custom combined with his creative methodology, made him a pioneer in the class. Tunes like Harmony Be Still Goddess and I Don't Feel No Ways Tired displayed Cleveland's heartfelt vocals and his capacity to pass profound otherworldly messages on through his music. His strong exhibitions, loaded with enthusiasm and conviction, reverberated with crowds across the ages. He died on February 9, 1991. The reason for his demise was confusion connected with a cardiovascular breakdown. 
Cleveland had fought a few medical problems, including diabetes and corpulence, all through his life. Cassietta George was brought into the world on January 23, 1929, in Memphis, Tennessee. She set out on her melodic venture quite early in life, drenched in the rich hints of gospel music. George's childhood in a gifted family sustained her adoration for gospel music. Her strong and expressive voice has charmed crowds since the beginning, making way for an exceptional vocation. Cassietta George joined the Eminent Convoy's Gospel Music Bunch, where a particular voice and enthusiastic exhibitions made her a champion. George's melodic soul and capacity to pass significant feeling on through her vocals turned into a characterizing part of the progression, sounding very much like he said he would be an eminent dad, and I'm willing to run exhibit. George's melodic ability and her capacity to convey the real substance and otherworldliness, her profound conveyance, her rich tone and immaculate vocal control, made her exhibitions really extraordinary Cassieta George, a gifted gospel music craftsman, died on June 18, 1009. 198. The reason for her demise was the intricacies connected with diabetes all through her life. Cassietta George had struggled with diabetes, and sadly, it eventually added to her inconvenient passing. Dolores Washington found her energy for gospel music at an early age, having experienced childhood in a melodic family. Washington's adoration for gospel music was supported from a young age. Her striking vocal ability and energy for singing became obvious as she set out on her melodic excursion. Dolores Washington's gifts were perceived by noticeable specialists and gospel music groups, prompting coordinated efforts that exhibited her surprising voice. Washington loaned her vocals to different gospel music projects, and teamed up with eminent specialists, incorporating exhibitions with the convoys and other gospel troopies. Her heartfelt and elevating voice carried an exceptional flavor to the harmonies, having an enduring effect on crowds' tunes. I found the response amidst the tempest, and he'll make everything right displayed Washington's capacity to pass on messages of trust, confidence, and diligence. Bessie Griffin, she was brought into the world on July 6, 1922, in New Orleans. Louisiana was known for her strong and profound voice that reverberated with realness from top to bottom, from her initial starting points in the Congregation Ensemble to her ascent as a regarded gospel craftsman. Bessie Griffin's voice enamored crowds with its power range and close-to-home articulation. Her exhibitions were set apart by a novel mix of influence and elegance that contacted the hearts of audience members. The parades established by Albertina Walker in 1952 turned into a stage for skilled gospel craftsmen to meet up and make a special melodic embroidery. The trains, known for their rich harmonies and lively exhibitions, pulled in a variety of talented entertainers. Bessie Griffin joined the gathering, bringing her strong voice and dynamic presence to their aggregate sound tunes, like Mary, Don't You Sob If It's Not Too Much Trouble, Showing Restraint Toward Me, and Recollecting Me Became Gospel. Works of art exhibiting the unique vocal abilities of Bessie Griffin and the bands. She died on April 10, 1989. Her reason for death was complications from a stroke. Lolita Holloway was brought into the world on November 5, 1946, in Chicago. Illinois found her enthusiasm for music at an early age, experiencing childhood in a blessed with a gift for music family. Holloway's vocal ability was clear from the beginning. She started her melodic excursion by singing in chapel ensembles and at nearby gatherings, sharpening her art and making way for her future achievements. Lolita Holloway's strong voice and profound conveyance grabbed the eye of the music business, moving her towards fame. Holloway's advancement came during the 1970s, when she endorsed the soul soul records that marked her hit tunes, for example, Love Sensation and Quick In and Out, which exhibited her mind-boggling vocal reach. Dynamic stage presence and certain ability procure her a dedicated fan base. Melodies like Runaway and Cry to Me exhibited Holloway's capacity to implant feeling and enthusiasm into her exhibitions, reverberating profoundly with crowds. Her deep understandings and telling vocals hardened her status as a spirit sensation humble at a Holloway died on Walk 21, 2011 because of a cardiovascular breakdown. Thank you for watching this video.